Whenever Bushmen relax in their little family circles, they relive the age-old stories that have been passed on from generation to generation. Many of these stories revolve around the fascinating little creature that we know as the praying mantis. In Bushman mythology, it is believed to be the creator of the moon, that it can transform itself into various forms, that it can predict the future, and if it is killed, it will always come to life again. Obviously, the praying mantis must have made a strong impression on early man. Even today, it stands out as totally unique in a fantastic world of fascinating creatures, each one adapted in its own special way, each one with its own peculiar habits. For some, life hangs on a thread, while others have all their feet firmly on the ground. And most of them have funny faces. But it is also a world of color and unmistakable beauty, where every instinct works towards the continuation of the species. In this fascinating world, the mantis stands on its own and has intrigued mankind for many centuries. Some refer to it as the insect that prays for its supper. Others know it as the tiger of the insect world. And to the Bushman, it will always be the creator of the moon. It is the only insect that can turn its head like a human being, wash its face like a cat, and drink water like a horse. But perhaps we should start the story of the mantis in autumn. The time of the year when the leaves turn a golden yellow and the cosmos blooms. This is the time when the male meets the female and a blinding passion makes him forget everything around him. The honeymoon takes place in a setting of perfect camouflage and may last from a few hours to several days. Afterwards, as a token of final affection, the female eats her husband. In a world where every instinct works towards the continuation of the species, it is only natural that the male should be eaten. In this way, he is useful to the end as he provides the female with the additional strength needed to prepare for the next generation. And so, a few days later, the merry little widow lays her eggs. These are enclosed in a white foam which hardens and forms a protective cover. Slowly, but surely, winter takes over. Changing the landscape with its icy breath, it brings with it a beauty of its own. But the mantis never sees this beauty, for it very seldom survives the South African winter. But while the old generation is dead and forgotten, the new generation is waiting patiently. Well hidden and protected, its rate of development regulated by nature's time clock so they may hatch in spring, when conditions for survival are at their best. And with the first signs of spring, the wonder happens. Deep inside their protective cover, something tells the tiny offspring that it is time to put in an appearance. One by one, they struggle to the surface and make their way into a fantastic world. A world where one tiny aphid can mean a solid meal. Where one can wash its face in a single dewdrop. And when the food supply runs low, there is no law that says you can't eat a smaller brother 
or sister. And spring turns to summer and summer brings with it an absolute explosion of colour. It is a time of great activity, with some looking for the sweet things in life, while others have a different taste. By this time, the mantis reaches full size and lives up to its reputation as the tiger of the insect world. Suddenly it is autumn time again. Once more the leaves turn a golden yellow, the cosmos blooms and it is time for boy to meet girl again. The young male rushes blindly into love and loses his head in the process. For here the female has grown impatient and started making a meal of her unfortunate lover perhaps a little prematurely. But like the countless millions before him, he does not die in vain. Once more, the new generation lies well hidden and protected, waiting and developing. And, with the first signs of spring, the cycle is completed. The cycle that started long before man appeared on this earth and which in all probability will continue long after he has been forgotten. <laughs>